Hi, Steve Griffin from Grim Reaper. You're watching The Metal Voice. Welcome to the Metal Voice. Today, the one, the only Mr. Steve Grimmett, my Hi. friend, in Montreal, Canada, on his North American tour. Yeah, the first leg. And uh, first, uh, we've been in uh, Canada for about five hours, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so how's Canada treating you so far in those four, first yeah. four hours? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we came straight here, parked up, and we've been in here for four hours, I think. So, yeah, no, it's really good, though. No, we're having a good time. All right, cool, cool. So, how is it? I mean, okay, I, I saw you get on, you know, do your sound check. How is it getting around? I mean, show everybody your 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 cool. And I don't even know what to call it. What do you call this it? This is a socket. A socket, uh, okay. So, uh, and that's a, an inlaid T-shirt that I had them do. Um, it's. <clears throat> It's a lot more difficult to walk. It's, it takes 80% more energy to actually walk um, than it did before. But, um, and it takes a long time to learn to walk. You know, when, when I first went into the hospital, uh, I thought I was gonna get my leg, put it on and walk out, you know, but no, no way. I did, it screwed me up for a good couple of weeks because nobody watching this or anybody else has ever, ever thought about walking before it's just something you naturally do without question but when you've got this leg on that you can't feel and the one you can and try to time the two things together impossible what would you compare the experience of learning to walk again um, well unless you've done it there there's no comparison really it's um, it, it's it's a challenge and they for, for me that the end goal was getting back up on stage, and um, which I, I'm doing now. But it's still difficult, you know. Each day brings different things, you know. Like you get to a club and there's no lifts and it's all stairs. I can climb stairs and I can go downstairs one at a time. But it's, it's just little things like that. But you know, I know that, so I don't really have a problem with it. But um, yeah, it's, there's this. You never know. Each day brings something different, uh, so. But at least I'm out here doing it, you know, and that's and and that's for the fans. And, and that's inspiring for other people with similar handicaps yeah. to go out and do what you love, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. It's uh, and that's that's what you should do. I mean, I've seen a lot of guys uh, in the hospital, my rehab hospital, that uh, are just shriveling up and dying because they can't see any way forward, yeah. and they're, and they're just they're just shriveling up yet i see other people that are totally into it they're gonna they're gonna walk again they're gonna walk to the pub or you know they're gonna do this they're gonna walk the dog whatever they've got they've got something to keep them going and uh, i i well I, when i was in hospital you know i was thinking there's other people far worse off than me yeah. and, I, and the first day I went to the, the uh, rehab center so I, 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 I heard this guy laughing and I, I got into the, the rehab center and it was a guy and it, uh, just before Christmas uh, he had he was a, a scaffolder and he touched power lines with a sheet of steel and it went through it, it, every limb so he lost every single limb his, both his legs below knee, uh, both his arms from, from there downwards, lost those hands. And it even got his vocal cords, he had to learn to talk again. And that guy was my inspiration, you know. And I, I still talk to Jamie every day, well not every day, but pretty much every day. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean he was 33 when it happened, he was just about to start playing professional football. You know, but he still wants to get back into that, and I know he will because he's got the determination. But that guy, you know, all that, and that guy never ever got down. He was just laughing, smiling, joking all the time. So let's turn to, uh, I know the new album has been pushed back, or pushed forward, sorry. So, so tell me what's going on, When's it, when, when do you think there's going to be a release on the new Grim Reaper album? We have a date of uh, February the 19th. Okay. And, uh, it's it's basically because uh, well, 
we couldn't deliver it in time and neither could the record label so we put it back to February the 19th and it gives us a little bit more time to get things done we've recorded all the guitar all the drums uh, I've started vocals and uh, when we get back we'll be doing vocals and bass so it, we will be finished probably within the next month it'll be done and what about the musical style compared to the last album it's it's in a similar vein but we're we're branching out slightly and it's still heavy and it's it's probably slightly heavier in some songs but then you've got the typical grim reaper stuff in there too mm -hmm. and what about a live album i know we talked about briefly about maybe a live album yeah well i'm recording because after we finish uh here we're, we're going back to Gatwick, being picked up and then driven to Paris to do a show there called the British Steel uh, Festival. Um, and we're recording the live album there, but we'll be doing so, a few others as well, so we can sort of, you know, get the whole thing together. And um, so there will be a live album, and we're thinking about re recording. See you in well, all the other three albums, but just the favorites, our favorites off yeah, those three albums to so re record them. So, acquire the rights, the, 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 the rights that you know that you had so, so many problems acquiring over these yeah. years, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and what about okay, this is for Mike, who's actually the cameraman, Lion's Heart. I mean, um, well, that's that's being re released fairly shortly, I think. So, uh, I, I don't know what the release date is for that, but it, I know it's fairly soon. Um, they're releasing all four in a, in one pack, all four albums. So, yeah, looking forward to that too. Uh, what about this book? I know you've been working on it. You know the struggle of the whole leg. Uh, yeah, I've uh, I've thought some more about it, but I've been so busy, it's been almost impossible. And and I can't write a book. I have no clue uh, how to do it. But I have got a friend who's going to help me out. Um, so really and truly I need to get together with him and basically he's got a I think he wants what he wants is like a sex drugs and rock and roll well that uh, that's been done to death so it's not going to be that it's going to be something else and it will be about the struggle with this then there'll be some you know sex drugs and rock and roll in there too but it'll be mainly about about what I've been through and why going throughout the United States and Canada Grim Reaper, Steve Grimmitz, Grim Reaper. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you very much. Take care, guys.